well as the market signing of Jude Bellingham. Should Liverpool seal that deal and get their move for the Borussia Dortmund man over the line? Jagan club is going to need more additions in the summer. The Liverpool squad needs to revamp with younger players coming in who are capable of restoring the high energy style that the Riders have become famous for. With too many of the current crop physically unable to match their previous intensity levels, it is not going to be cheap. And so Liverpool is going to have to be clever if their new sporting director is to complete all of the tasks that are required to get club's man back fire again. But one such option, whose contract is coming to its end in the summer, is the possibility on Liverpool's radar, rated at $32 million, around $27 million per sling or $30 million euro, by transfer market. Out of contract at the end of the current campaign, playmaker Daichi Kamada is being tracked by Liverpool, Manchester City, Newcastle United, Tottenham, Borussia Dortmund, PSG and Barcelona are calling to 90 min. The attacking midfielder has scored 13 times and assisted 5 so far this season in 27 appearances for Eintracht Frankfurt. Helping for a Bundesliga title bid, capable of playing as a number 10, off either flank or as a deeper midfielder as a kind of number 8, Kamada would make a great deal of stance for Liverpool. FB Raf lists Pablo Fornos as his most similar player stylistically, hardworking and defensively diligent but also creative and full of flair in the final third. Fede Valverde and Lucas Paqueta also feature in the top 10, while Liverpool link Mason Mount is third. A student his off the ball work, Kamada is in the 8th 7 percentile for tackles compared to attacking midfielders and wingers in Europe's top 5 leagues, and the 8th third for interceptions. Compared to the midfielders in Europe's top 5 leagues, he ranks in the 93rd percentile for both touches in the opposition penalty area and combined non-penalty expected goals and expected assists and the 99th percentile for non-penalty goals. Kamada is not necessarily the perfect fit for Liverpool and would not walk into their starting 11 with the Reds at their best. But to add quality and depth in attacking areas, he could be a similarly low-cost solution in the transfer market to fellow countryman Takumi Minamino. Unlike with Minamino, though, who had impressed in the Champions League but only played at the Austrian Bundesliga level, Kamada has already proven himself in Germany, a much sharper sign of being able to adapt in England, though no guarantee, as detractors of Nabikita would point to. Versatile, available on free, on relatively low wages and clearly able to fit into Liverpool's pressing style of play while adding creativity and goals. Though, Kamada is a player that certainly should be on the right transfer radar. Given he plays abroad and is inside the final six months of his deal, it is a move that could be agreed in advance of the summer window any time from now. As a risk-free signing who could add quality and depth to prove a master stroke, it is exactly the type of signing that facilitated Liverpool going for all four trophies last season, and exactly the type of player they should target again. Till I get up, time is barely on our side